Okay, Shark used the same visor on, at the moment, three of their helmets. So the Squall I3, the D Squall 3, and the Riddle 2. The visor change is exactly the same on all three of those helmets. This is a Riddle 2, but what I'm going to show you here, this procedure will work in exactly the same way on a Squall I3 or a D Squall 3. So let's get into it. First of all, we'll start with the visor in its fully raised position. We need to locate one button on each side of the helmet. So there's an R marked on this side for right. There's an L marked on this side for left. With the helmet pointing away from you on a flat surface, because this is the easiest way to do it, push both of those buttons in until you hear the clicks, and then just rotate the visor backwards further than it would go when you're just using the helmet normally. And then that should release from there. Just pull it away and it releases. It's really simple to remove. It's actually pretty simple to put back on as well. The key are the three tangs on this circular tab here. There's a matching shape on the gear mechanism. So line those up with the recess holes just there. Apply a little bit of light pressure there. Same on the other side, get those three shapes in, light pressure. Bring this helmet back into this position again, and then just applying that light pressure, just push forward until the visor clicks back into place. So that's it changed. That's really simple. One of the best visor changes around at the moment, that is. Now, some visor, that's a little bit more complicated, but it's not terrible. So this is the operating switch for it here. So we'll get the sun visor to its lowest position. And then it's just a case of getting inside, getting a grip as close as you can to the edge and then pulling it free from here. Same on the other side, pull it away. What's happened here is it's actually pulled away this section as well. Sometimes it doesn't do that. There's a tab that's on the end of this switch. And that tab, that little button, locates into the hook on top of here. So we'll show you a close-up of what needs to happen. If it doesn't come away like it just did for me, you just need to go in there and use something plastic, ideally, to release that tab from that hook. But you'll probably get an idea of what I mean when I reinstall it now. So to put it back in, these two tangs feed into the runners on each side between the shell and the EPS. And push till we hear the click. Same on the other side. There's the click. So now we've got that tab to worry about. I'm just going to get that piece of plastic that I spoke about and then just push that tab back in. And once that is back in the hook, operating the switch should show the visor will now retract and drop. Check that a couple of times. We'll check the outer, outer visor as well a couple of times for that. All good. So that is how you remove and refit the visor on a Shark Squall I3, on a D Squall 3, or a Riddle 2 like this helmet. Thanks for watching.